What's up, everybody? It's Video Mark. Um, how to do picture and picture in Adobe? How to do picture and picture in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. It's really hard to repeat that all the time. Premiere Pro After Effects. Premiere Pro. Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. Say that ten times in a row quickly. Adobe Premiere Pro. <laughs> all right. That's a beginner question I get a lot, and there's just one little confusing thing. Um, there are pre-made presets in Premiere Pro built in already for picture and picture. And most people, uh, are searching for picture and picture, but it's actually called PIP, P-I-P, picture and picture. So let's say we've got this, uh, situation here. I've got this video and I have this, the demo video of the effect that I'm talking about. And I want this, uh, to, uh, to be in the lower left corner. So go to the effects and most people, Beginners would do this and would search for picture and nothing's there. But when you do pip, you have this whole list of uh, 25%, which is the scale, 25% uh, presets, lower left, LL, lower right, upper right, animated lower right to lower left and all that. Um, let's just uh, take this first one, the pip, 25% lower, lower left, apply it to the... Uh, to the video and this is what it looks like. Okay. Actually, very simple. That's the thing, the, the mistake that most beginners are making. They look for picture, but it's pip. Okay. Um, but what am I showing you this? I mean, is what's this video about to like, am I showing you presets, uh, pre-made presets? No. Built in presets? No. Um, when you go to the effect control, then you still have this, um, control over certain aspects like the scale or the position and to do that yourself that's really easy you go to the effects no i mean uh effect controls go to motion uh set the scale to i don't know 30 or 25 just like the pre-made preset click on motion and then these controls uh appear uh on screen and then just drag it into place that's basically the same thing okay also very easy to do and one other question I get a lot is how do you actually do side by side? Like if you did an interview and an interview on Skype, maybe, um, unfortunately there's no way to snap things in place or align things in place. You have all sort of align controls in the text, um, when, when working with text, but as far as I know, there's no way to snap things into place on canvas uh, for, for videos. If you know, a way around this without a plugin. I'm just talking about built in tools. Uh, please let me know, but this is the way that I do it. And that's just, um, let's scale this upper video to 50% and the lower one as well. And, um, you would actually go in and click on motion or, uh, on motion and just drag it into place. You can hold the shift key to at least lock it horizontally. But you, you, it's still not perfect. There still might be a lap gap to the uh, a gap left to the right or left. Um, there must be a better way. So what I usually do is I set the anchor point to the right. So let's say we've got the anchor point here. So since although it's scaled, this uh, uh, clip. Um, has the resolution of full HD, 1920 by 1080. The anchor point is all the way to the right. And now when you set the position to 1920, it's sitting perfectly, um, at the right, at the right edge of the canvas. Now do the same thing with the lower clip and now set the anchor point to zero plus set the position to zero. And now, you have everything in place for the side-by-side -side video and it looks just perfect, okay? To align this vertically, let's say you wanna have four pictures, four clips uh, in place and fill up the whole canvas, you would do the same thing for the vertical alignment, okay? And um, that's basically how you align these with a few simple steps, just set the anchor point and then um, set the position. You will have to do uh, do the math a little bit, but that's that's not too hard to accomplish, okay? That's basically um, 
how you do a picture in picture. Again, when you go into the effects, uh, just search for pip and uh, select uh, one of these pre-made presets. That's pretty easy. And if you want to do a side by side, just uh, use that anchor point trick that I just showed you and um, you're good to go. That was how to do picture in picture. Uh, another quick tip for Premiere Pro CC 2018. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.